Today we are going to create this object hand grab effect in After Effects. It's very easy to create and you can use it as a transition between two scenes. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so welcome in After Effects and in order to create this effect, you have to first record some videos. So let me show you how to do that. Just take out your smartphone or camera so you can grab any object you want like this and just start recording your video and at some point just leave it and move your hand out of this frame and after that you can move around this object now in case you want to do this transition with some big objects like a building or something then you you cannot grab them but actually what you can do is you can simply pretend to hold them so for example i am pretending to hold these monitor screen like this and after some point just let it go like that so in the same way just record bunch of different objects like this and after that import the videos in after effects so once you're done with this let's select one of these videos so let's pick this one and let's drag it inside the composition so this is going to be our base footage and on top of this we will start our first transition so let's drag the video which we want to use i'm going to drag this one now let's move and pick a point where our hand is like just leaving it so somewhere around here looks good now i'm going to select this press ctrl shift d to split the layer now select the bottom layer right click go to time and freeze frame now our hand won't move in the beginning and after that it will move now in the front part we want to cut out the hand from the background now there are a couple of ways in which you can do that you can either use the pen tool and you can draw out the mask around your hand like this or you can use any photoshop or whatever software you want to use to do that or you can use after effects by using the roto brush tool so if i click on this you can see we have selected the roto brush now double click on this video and it will take you inside this now just click and drag and you can see that after effects will try to roto out your hand now it will all the area that is inside this pink line is included and all the area outside is not so in case you don't want to include any area then you can hold on the alt key then just click and drag now you can see that it will snap to my hand now we want this cube to be included as well so i'm going to draw over it and let's draw it completely so that all of these edges are included perfect so now here we have our cutout and in the section i'm going to set this to best now i'm going to click on freeze frame now after effects will freeze all of these frames since we are not moving so it will be a very easy job now the freezing is done so we can go back over here now here you can see we have this cutout now there are a couple of things that you can do to really enhance this so if i select this there is this feather option if i increase this it will smooth out some edges now sometimes you will see that we will have some like white outlines so in in order to fix them you can just simply set the shift edge to something like negative like this now it will clean out all the all of these edges so once you have this we are ready to animate it out so the animation part is quite easy all we have to do is just simply animate its position and let's add a keyframe for rotation as well let's press u to see the keyframe now this is going to be a final position now i'm going to move like 14 frames before this so hold on the shift key page up to move 10 frames then one two three four using the page up key or you can just simply manually move your indicator now at this point we can move it to wherever we want so i'm going to like simply move it to this point and let's just rotate it so that our hand will come like this now let's select these keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph i'm going to change the graph to look like this and now here we have created our first transition as our hand is coming you can see that it will turn into this new clip now in the same way we can add the second transition as well so let's see how to do that as well so after this we can have this mouse transition so again let's drag this clip and let's go to a point where we have our mouse contact so at this point we are just leaving the mouse so i'm going to select this point Control shift d to split this select this right click time and the step is pretty much the same for all of these transition now let's roto out our hand so select this double click and again roto is very easy just click and drag and include all the areas that you want and in case you don't want hold on the alt key perfect so here we have this 
now make sure to change this to best to give the best results now let's click on freeze so now it is done again we can go over here here you can see we have these black outlines which we can easily fix by increasing feather a little bit and let's set the shift edge to negative 100 so now you can see we have got rid of these black lines perfect again we have this and let's go to 14 frames let's trim this out let's press p add a keyframe let's press r add a keyframe let's press u to see all of them let's move it to this side we can place it like let's say come from this side so we can rotate it like that so here you can see hand is coming but and you can see we are able to see the gaps so we can add some scaling animation as well let's add a scale and we can probably increase this up quite a bit now let's select the keyframes press f9 and all of these keyframes will have same sort of easing so here we have this maybe we can increase the scale a little bit more yeah, i think this looks good now again we can offset this so just play around with the timing so at this point we can have our other hand come in and you can see that we forgot to have this roto out so what we can do is we can double click on this double click on this layer now unfreeze this you can probably zoom in let's hold on the alt key and let's get rid of this yeah i think this looks good again once you're happy just click on freeze now we can go back to the composition now we have got rid of this so here we have the second hand now in the same way you can like just keep on going and keep on adding other hands as well so after that at last you can just simply enable the motion blur for all of these layers just to give them a nice look so here you can see we have added some really nice motion blur this is before this is after and this will really sell your effect and in the same way you can like just keep on going and keep on cutting out your hands and animating their position and rotation so this is how you can create this object hand grab effect in after effects now the tutorial project files and all the practice footage both are available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.